Hi everybody, welcome back. I haven't uh, done a video for a little bit, so I thought I'd pop on. Sorry, but I got a little raspiness going. Um, I wanted to talk about and show you some of my current favorites. I was gonna do a 2020 favorites, but then I thought, you know, 2020 wasn't a big year for makeup and getting ready. It was more about like skincare and being around the house. Now, we still have everything going with COVID, but we're able to go out a little bit more, you know, using our masks. And there are quite a few days that even if I don't go out, I'm getting kind of back into makeup. It, it makes me happy. So uh, let's get started. Um, I have a few products here and some of them I've talked about before. This is the Tarte CZ Cream light to medium color corrector and I have almost finished that. I really love this for under the eye and sometimes when it gets a little too dark over here I like to tap it on here. It's a great color corrector that you can use on your own or with, on its own or with a concealer over it. Now the concealer that I like to use which I didn't take out and I didn't take out a product that I wanted to talk about too. The concealer is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer Satin Finish. And I use the color Medium Peach. The reason I buy Medium Peach is that I'm quite dark over here. And I don't like this so much on its own. But if I use these two together, great, great, great combination. Now speaking of, I have my face that I just took out of the drawer. This is the Purr 4-in-1. It's the Tinted Moisturizer. My color is MN3. And I believe that stands for Medium Neutral 3. I look quite uh, fair on camera, but I'm actually more like a light medium, sometimes medium. And I think this color, um, this company, the colors are a little lighter. So that's why I'm medium and not light, light medium. This has a broad spectrum SPF 20. Now I still use a um, product that has SPF and in fact it has 30. So this is just a little bit more protection for my face. I've used it at night and it really doesn't have a flashback, which I like. Uh, it has a little bit of titanium dioxide with zinc oxide, but for some reason it doesn't flash back on me. All right, here I'm gonna talk about two lip products that I really enjoy so much. First one is this Pharmacy Lip Gloss, and I will put links down below for every product. Some of them will be magic links, so I will get like a tiny percentage uh, back if you purchase, and um, you know, full disclosure. And uh, this color is in the color 04. And it has like a sparkle to it. I actually have it on my lips right now. And then I love their matte, which is surprising because people that have watched me or if you've watched me for a while, I'm not really a matte girl. But I love the way these go on. Uh, they're, this is the number 05. And I'll get the exact name for you and put it down below along with the link. And color is such a pretty red right now I'm wearing um, a color that was custom made and it's more of a pink mauve and I put this on I let it set for just a little bit it goes on creamy and really nice and then I sorry then I put a lip gloss on top of it um, I also like their lip plumper it doesn't have that stinging effect and it gives you a little bit of a gloss too. So those um, lip products by Pharmacy have been some of my favorites too. A while ago I showed in a video uh, a haul and it was an e.l.f. product that I cannot read. <laughs> it's the No Budge Shadow Stick and I bought it in the shade Rich Amethyst. And I'll do a swatch of this one. That's what it is. And I have that on my upper waterline and a little bit on my lower waterline. Well, not waterline, uh, lash line. 
I also like this color. I went back out and bought another one, and it's the Copper Chic. I like this one by itself. I have like uh, brown eyes, but they have a little bit of green in them. And when I'm in the sun or I put certain eyeshadows on, you can see those green. That's right there. That's the copper. Oh, and I should have swatched for you the lip color. This is a beautiful red. I love it. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. And I won't swatch the pink one because you can't purchase it. And then the lip gloss. You might think if you're all over a certain age that you can't wear these glosses but that have the little sparkle. But this, is, there's, it's so fine. I mean, I don't look like a young kid. It just looks, makes the lips look like healthy and a little more plump. I always like to put... A little bit of lip gloss on top of my lipsticks another lip product that i love i put this on constantly is by jouet jouet i think i'm pronouncing it right and it's the essential lip enhancer it's just clear i won't swatch it but it has this type of applicator this is great during the day um i sleep with a cpap mask and i put just like loaded on and i don't wake up with my lips all chappy and i'm one of those people that's you know mouth breather i sleep with my mouth open so um more products that are great like this one that i can put on my lips the better and i gotta put the ones i've already talked about um, I love a good eyeliner, and I love a good eyeliner that stays put. And I really love the Urban Decay 24-7. They have, like, a range of colors. Uh, my favorite currently is Whiskey. They used to make another brown. That's a swatch there. Uh, they used to make another brown. Well, they do make it. It's called Roach. But I can't find it anywhere when I go to Sephora. Could order online though. Never think about those things. This is the Busy Art Professional Makeup Seamless Eye Primer. I have two uses for this. I use a little bit on my under eye, let it set. I put some on my um, lids for the shadow, and then I go back with the corrector that I talked about, and then sometimes the concealer, and it stays. I don't have to powder it, nothing. And of course, you know, I'm going to get a little bit of wrinkling, but I have some wrinkling under there. You know, that's inevitable. Even if you set it, you're going to get a little bit. But I like the staying power of it. So I would highly recommend that you try using your eye primer underneath and on top. If you'd like me to do a video or a tutorial showing you how I do that, just let me know down below. Okay, the next is like one of the cheapest products but you get your bang for every cent it is the essence lash princess and excuse me but we are babysitting my brother's family's little chihuahua we love him so much but sometimes he gets a little too excited and he's barking now so i hope that you don't hear him too much and he's not disturbing the video as I said, this is the Lash Princess by Essence. It's the False Lash Effect Mascara. I also have it in the Waterproof. It's the False Lash Effect Mascara Waterproof, which comes blue. This is like a teal. To be honest with you, this one I have to be very careful using. Um, it's like most waterproof mascaras where my lashes will kind of cling to each other. And I like it when they are fanned out. I have it on today. And if you can see, it makes the lashes look really, really, really nice. Really nice. All right, here's another pharmacy product. This is by Dr. Tuna. And he is a, um, I believe, dermatologist, scientist that has created a lot of their skincare products. This is the Ultra Rich Intensive Foot Cream. And... I love this. This has glycerin and shea butter, and I love to put this all over my feet. I've even put it during the day and just put my slippers on or some white socks. But before I go to bed at night, it just feels so good. And it's helped my heels and my feet to 
just be, uh, oh, there's little Louie, it, just to be so moisturized. All right, last but not least, I'm going to talk about two eye palettes. First one is by Violet Voss, and it's the I Love You Forever. I like uh, Violet Voss eyeshadows a lot. They're very nice. It comes with a mirror, which I won't show you because then there's glare. But this is just, it's to die for. It's really pretty. If you like olives and these are sort of a mauve -y dark color, you have a light color, you can do just about any look with that. I'm not wearing that today. I am wearing the Wonderlust, which this is an eye palette by Pharmacy. And I believe that these are like $35, $40, something like that. I'll put the link down below. And this has a really large variety of shadows that are just beautiful. He's agreeing with me. I have this one on today, which is probably my favorite. It's called Cupcake. And then in the crease, I have Noble. And then down below, I have a little bit of Cupcake and a little bit of Noble. And I love the way the purple makes my eyes, uh, like the green in them, come out. I hope you can see that on camera. But these are really great. They're long-lasting. They are not high pigment, which I love, because I find that really high pigment shadows are hard to blend. They're hard to work with. This is just at the right consistency of pigmentation. And I've been loving it. Just been loving it. I believe they have like three other palettes. And that one is called the Wonderlust. So those are my uh, current favorite products. Or I should say makeup products. That I have just been loving. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And that you have had a great start to your new year. I will post some links down below of everything that I talked about and um, leave me a comment down below. Um, what should I do? Okay, tell me two of your favorite makeup products that you are loving. And if you don't have favorite, tell me one down below that you wish you could try, but you just haven't got your hands on it or it's not in your budget right now. Answer one of those questions for me. Leave me a thumbs up so that I get moved around the internet more. And I'll be back with you very soon. I'm going to be starting a new um, adventure. And I hope that you'll join me. Uh, and uh, I will be talking to you soon and tell you all about it. Talk to you later. I love you. And have a great day. Bye.